What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about what I want to see in the next trailer for the Batman film. Obviously, uh, the kind of world's worst kept secret, right? And I think they want us to know. Obviously, the movie's going to be there at DC Fandom 2021 next Saturday, October 16th. And, you know, we've heard, you know, Robert Pattinson has talked about, you know, how he's done some cool stuff for the show. So I'm sure it's going to be a mix of, you know, this is it. This movie comes out, you know, in just really, you know, a few months is probably not the right term, but right around the corner and uh so you know you'll have the trailer i'm sure and it'll probably i would imagine be around the same length as last year's trailer although they called last year's trailer a teaser trailer it was about two and a half minutes long which is longer than what i would normally think a teaser trailer um is so i would imagine uh you know a trailer length that would match that and then probably you know cast interviews talking to matt reeves all of that stuff i mean that's that's where we're at you know it's kind of the wonder woman situation of last year really i think the the batman is last year's wonder woman where you know you have a big trailer you i don't know if you have the you know the cast play games with each other although you could but that's i think what to expect at this year's show so you know enough about that more into the trailer look it's tough because i rewatched, so i haven't watched the trailer the first trailer in a long time and i wanted to rewatch it so i knew kind of what i wanted to see in addition to it for the next trailer and i i remember how amazing it was but i didn't quite remember how amazing it was because it's a phenomenal trailer that i think really does everything it needs to do i don't you know, I don't know if it has any glaring weakness to it that, that I want kind of supplemented in a second trailer. I guess the one thing I would want is a little bit more talking from Robert Pattinson. And, and I would say maybe a little bit more Bruce stuff because we only get really a couple shots and really one main shot of the like the car bomber uh, when he's as Bruce Wayne. You know, besides that, yes, there's like here and there, but for the most part, that's all we get of that and I believe we do not well we hear him I think one time at the very end talking more in a Bruce Wayne kind of voice although you could perceive that as the Batman's voice but he really doesn't talk almost at all and then obviously as Batman all he says is you know I'm vengeance so I guess not just even talking but just kind of seeing that a little bit more the the first trailer was very much I think designed at least the first 30 40 seconds to keep him hidden it was focused on the riddler it was focused on gordon but it wasn't really focused it was kind of like okay here's the first time you're gonna see you know robert pattinson in the suit so for this one you know i think you can let that mystique go a little bit and you can kind of show him a little bit show him doing so now again like you did show a little bit of the combat stuff and that's that's where you got to be careful because i do think a big part of this movie could very well be and should very well be the mystery so i don't really know if we need any more maybe a little bit more stuff with the riddler just in general but at the same time you know again you don't i don't think you need all they really they're in a nice situation because they showed again if, if that first trailer was the only trailer you it's actually very good you know what i mean like the, you don't really need to know much more than that i would say really a big focus on that i guess alfred so you hear him talk in the beginning ish the first half of the trailer but you never see him so i would like to see you know this portrayal we know obviously who's playing him but i would like to see this portrayal of alfred maybe and and, and you know what that's how you could get that bruce wayne thing right i want a little bit more of bruce wayne i want robert pattinson talking a little bit more in the next trailer so you could have them have some sort of you know a, a 10 15 second dialogue that's kind of chopped up you know cut up and put that in the trailer i think that would work really well it would show their dynamic it would show the two in action it would hear you to be able to hear their voices and their their mannerisms as these characters so i think you'd honestly accomplish quite a bit just by doing that guess catwoman would probably be another one so we see her i think like two or three times in the trailer obviously we see kind of I guess one very mini part of the fight with Batman. So that's something that, you know, maybe you could show a different part of that fight, or maybe you just want to show, maybe you want to show her in like day to day life, you know, in the trailer. But I would say really probably that, maybe focusing a little bit more on the. Oh, like the other characters you could even argue that with gordon you see him in just a very select few scenes and really you know a big part of the trailer is maybe that first riddle that he's reading aloud you know he says does this mean anything to you that's a big segment of the trailer and that's a big segment that we see gordon so you see him again a couple other times but i think to kind of take him and put him into other situations as well i would say to put in penguin but what we know about that is that and i believe he even you know colin farrell even said he's only in like five or six like scenes so he's pro and and you know a scene doesn't have to mean like a minute but i'm probably going to say a minute just to kind of make it nice numbers right if he's only in let's say three to six minutes 
of the movie, which, <laughs> you know, I think 10 minutes is probably like the max you can get. Maybe three is a little too short, but if that's what we're talking about, I don't really want to see, you know what I mean, any more of that. In, because we did, we saw him, I believe, two different times in the trailer. Now, they're very, very small snippets of what could be a very, uh, you know, a bigger overall scene, but I think that's enough considering, you know, again, you're taking away what could be very little time for him already, and then you're showing us it in the trailer. So again, that that really goes back to that that the mystery of the film. You see Batman fight a little bit with the, you know, I'm vengeance thing. So, you know, you could show other fight scenes. They're, they're, they did show some kind of like higher action things. I assume you're going to want to show that more. Like I said, I mean, look, you got to you got to pack the trailer. I mean, if you're going to do a second trailer, which they will, you could have some of the same scenes you had in the first trailer or different, I guess, variations of them, different camera works, different parts of the same scene that you had in the first one. But for the most part, I think we're still at a point where we're going to get, you know, brand new stuff. So, you know, again, I don't have like massively specific, like I don't have my blueprints out to kind of show you or show them. And, and you know, I, I'm sure they'll do a better job at it than I could if I was in control. But I would say those are pretty much main things, kind of showing the overall cast in different elements, Alfred, Catwoman, you know, even Robert Pattinson himself, just in different situations, Gordon, all that stuff. You do that. You can maybe show a couple other things in terms of action. Maybe you show the Riddler more. But then even, you know, on the opposite side of things to kind of keep that mystery about the overall project. I mean, that's the it's it's the thing that definitely does get like when those things come out, that's what hurts these movies, I would say. Maybe uh, I'm kind of seeing that, you know, I cover the movie Scream quite a bit. And, like, the mystery of it is so powerful that when you do get insiders kind of, like, giving information, you know, it takes a lot away from it. I think it does diminish the excitement. And, and obviously, Scream and the Batman aren't exactly the same thing, but they both do have that, that new factor or the freshness to it. And also just mystery specifically here with the Riddler, with how the tone and atmosphere is just going to be, which we get a good sense of in the first trailer. Again, I don't really think you change that in trailer number two. You know what I mean? Dark, gritty, you know, in in some ways, much like even uh, Zack Snyder or even like Christopher Nolan, like you can keep that. You know, you don't really, I think, need to do uh, anything different. So I'm very, very excited for this trailer. Again, last year's trailer was amazing in terms of what they were able to show with them not even being like close. They were like, what, one third done with filming the movie at the time that that trailer came out. So I assume they really rushed and 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 really had to put a lot of work more work than normal to, to make that trailer so now this year i think it's going to be even better which will be quite something so let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me on twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on patreon or youtube memberships links for all of them are in the description below. I will be covering this movie, uh, you know, throughout up until when it releases, but also next Saturday at DC Phantom, I will make a video or two on it. So again, make sure you guys are staying tuned to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.